response of electrical network for standard test signal here the stand, standard test signals are nothing but a step we need to step scale ramp next uh, triangular like this these are the standard test signals for example uh, a series rlc circuit by taking the series rlc circuit then we have to apply the different types of standard test signals then what is the response okay so that can be understand by using this uh, matlab symbol link and the next uh, this is the one simple rlc circuit so here we have to uh, give different types of standard test signals here and this uh, input word input is called standard signal that is called unit step ramp skier sawtooth or triangular like this these are the uh, different types of inputs are fed to the series rlc network and then what is the output of across the capacitor okay that is the response across the capacitor we can understand by using matlab simulator so we know for uh, damping factor based on this damping factor so that is equal to zeta is equal to damping factor zeta is equal to r by 2 into root c by l by substituting the values of r l c in this equation we will get uh, different types of dampings so r is equal to 2000 ohms l is equal to 100 milli henry c is equal to 0 0.9 microfarad that is called critical damping system we will get zeta here by substituting the values of r is equal to 2000 L is equal to 100 milli henry, C is equal to 0.1 microfarads, zeta damping factor is equal to 1. So while substituting the R is equal to 300 ohm, remaining L and C are maintained constant only by changing the values of R. So now R is equal to 300 ohms, then damping factor uh, is nothing but uh, 0 0.15. So this is uh, here. Zeta is equal to 1 is called critical damping and zeta is equal to 0 0.15 is called under damping. Right here, under damping. And next, uh, zeta is equal to 2 is called over damping. Zeta is equal to 1, critical damping. Zeta is equal to 0 0.15, under damping. And uh, zeta is equal to 2, greater than 1 is called over damping okay so these are the different types of dampings critical damping under damping over damping okay and then next uh, this is the uh, different types of dampings what is the output to waveform what is the waveform for step input for unit step input what is the output voltage waveform across the capacitor so zeta is equal to 0 to 1 that is called underdamped system. Here, zeta is equal to 0 0.1. So, we will get this type of underdamped system. And zeta is equal to 0 0.25, like this. Zeta is equal to 0 0.5. Zeta is equal to 0 0.75. When damping is increasing, oscillations are decreasing. Okay. Oscillations are decreasing when damping factor zeta is increasing. For zeta is equal to 1, that is called critical damped system. So, we will get this type of response. Without any oscillations. Uh, okay. And then zeta is equal to 1.5, that is called over damped system. That this is over damped system in nothing but slower response. The response of this uh, system is very slow, but without oscillations. Critical damped also with uh, no oscillations, but uh, no oscillations, faster response compared to over damped system. But uh, critical damped, under damped system, faster response and more oscillations. So this is the effect of damping. By ch while changing the damping factor, the uh, oscillations are uh, is changing like this. Okay, this is called steady state condition and this is under transient conditions. So we will get like, okay. So this is about uh, effect of damping. Then go to MATLAB symlink. So press MATLAB, okay. Press symlink, open MATLAB, press symlink and then blank model uh, display like this press create blank model okay and then a new symlink uh, worksheet is open like this okay and then here take one series rlc branch right here series rlc branch 
series series rlc brands don't take series rlc load okay copy this series rlc branch in this way and the control r rotate and place like this and uh, this is called resistor r what is the resistance r okay and here what is the resistance uh, for critical damper system for example first we have to considering an under damper system 300 ohms for under uh, critical damper system for example under damper system resistance is called 300 ohms apply and then okay then coming to the and this is called what is this l so l is called how much uh, 100 milli henry right here 100 milli henry like this 100 milli henry 100 into e power minus 3 is called milli henry and uh, capacitance is nothing but uh, 0 0.1 microfarad capacitance so change this uh, to a c type and capacitance is called 0 0.1 microfarad 0 0.1 microfarads then apply okay uh, then changes like this okay r is equal to 2 or 300 ohms l is equal to 100 milli henry for critical damper system l is equal to 100 milli henry c is equal to 0 0.1 microfarad okay 0 0.1 microfarad c is equal to 0 0.1 microfarads and uh, c is equal to 0 0.1 okay fine and then next uh, take one voltage controlled voltage controlled source by using this we have to connect the uh, different types of signals voltage controlled source voltage controlled source voltage controlled source like this controlled voltage source Control the voltage source, connect positive terminal to the, the resistor and a negative terminal to the capacitor and this terminal to the inductor and this terminal to the resistor like this. Okay. And then take here one uh, step input. Okay. Step input. Take one step input right here. Step input. Step. Unit step. By applying the unit step, we can understand the what is the damping. Okay, so like this uh, connection is over, and the next uh, so to uh, find the response across the capacitor, so we have to find the uh, response across the capacitor. Take one voltage measurement. Voltage measurement. Connect parallel to the voltage measurement cap parallel to across the capacitor in this way. This is called voltage measurement. And take one display uh, scope. Instead of display, take scope. Scope press connect like this. Okay. And similarly, connect one voltage measurement and also connect one voltage scope. That is called input side. Input waveform can be measured here. Yeah. Can uh, identify it by using the This is called input scope. This is our step input. This is our RLC values. Take one ground. Take one ground. Like this. Trace here. This is the circuit connection. Resistances, inductance, capacitance, series RLC branch, voltage measurement, and scope and ground. And uh, what is this? Controlled voltage source. Controlled voltage source. This is called step input. So open step input to uh, step time is called zero and final time is called one. And sampling time, take right here zero point triple zero 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 one. Okay, then apply okay. And uh, open controlled source as it is no changes. Okay, this is the circuit diagram and then next one power guy, take one power guy, power guy, and place here, 
So this is our underdamped system connection. Then time here take one uh, time right here time zero point uh, zero five zero point zero five and then simulate. Based on the response, we have to change the stop time. A step input. What is the output? So, so compiling is completed and we'll open output to scope. So this is our output. Change the time to 0 0.05 to 0 0.01 and simulate 0 0.01. Then open scope. So this is our response. Okay, for under damped system, we will get this type of response and uh, press this icon. Okay, and your uh, style, press style, your background figure color, uh, white, uh, change like white, and uh, axis color, and uh, this color also change this to then apply. The background color is changes and go to style and uh, the axis color also change the axis color into white also then apply this is the white color and change uh, this color yellow color to for example pink red color or pink color so like this this is our response okay so in this way we will get the response uh, input side then output side, this is the response for underdamped system. Similarly, what is the input here? Step input. This is our step input. Okay. Like this, we will get the response for underdamped system. And if you want to know uh, response for critical damped system, okay. So, can Copy and paste one more system. First one is called underdamped system. For second one, what is this response? For second one, the R is equal to 300 underdamped system. R is equal to 2000. That is called critical damped system. Here change R is equal to what is the R for uh, 2000 for critical number system. So right here 2000. R is equal to 2000. Okay. Then apply. Okay. This is for R. L and C are same as it is no changes. And then copy same same Copy like this, drag here and place here. And one more, this is for under damper system, lower damper system, and the copy and paste like this. This is critical damper system. First one is called. Already is completed this simulation. Take one scope, single scope, take one single scope, place here, and take a open scope and change the input ports to three. Number of input ports is nothing but three here, right here, three. Number of input ports, three, then apply, okay. okay. The scope will change like this. First waveform is called underdamped system. First we have to connect. This is called underdamped system. This is the response. 
hundred amp resistor. Next one. Next one. Second one. This is the second. And next, uh, this is called third one. By changing the values of resistances. So first one, this call 300, 100 amp system. 2000, critical amp system. And let's change here. Uh, 4000 or 6000, whatever it may be. Over amp system greater than 1. Okay, like this. Uh, RLC values are changed. This is under amp. This is called critical amp. This is called over damp. And then simulate. It's compiling and is completed. And then, then we can observe the scope. Waveforms for different values of under damp, over damp, critical damp. So this is our response. Okay. And uh, here, uh, change the background color. Lesson to go to le style, background color, eagle uh, color, white, and here also white. Then apply, okay. And go to style, and active display one. Active display one is called yellow color. Na? I'm changing the red color, and the thickness is called two. Then apply, okay. This is called under upper system. And similarly, active display two. Similarly, change active display two. Voltage measurement and so otherwise separate these two three waveforms by taking the legend layout two, by using layout separate like this. Under amp system, over amp system, critical amp systems are separated. So this is for under amp system. This is called critical amp system, and this is called over damper system. Like this, we can change the response. We can find the response of the system. Okay. Go to this uh, style layout, active display two, and uh, change the thickness of the color. Then apply. And the next uh, active display three. Change another color like this. Apply. Turn okay. Three three active display three. Press. Change the color to another. For example, this color. Apply. Okay. Change the thickness also. So, like this, this is a under amper system. Under amper system, critical amper system, over damper system. So, like this, we can uh, find the response of the system by first step input. Next, the scale input. Then, what is the response of the system? Little uh, remaining two circuits. Uh, and uh, now this circuit step input na delete step input and take one signal generator right signal generator signal generator and place the signal generator uh, here remove step input okay now so signal generator the signal generator by using signal generator we have to give the input is called scale okay open scale and uh, scale apply scale and amplitude for example right here 2.5 uh, peak to peak pass to peak to new to peak 2.5 frequency for example 100 edges uh, can change units is called 100 then apply okay then simulate connect uh, one uh, input also here okay the scope is not required here Input and outputs are connected to the same scope. Okay. So by opening this uh, uh, scope and go to here, number of input ports is called two. Change like this number of input ports and connect two inputs. So frequency, what is the frequency here? Frequency 100 edges, amplitude 2.5. In waveform is called scale, scale input. 
This is called scale input. For scale input, what is the output? And then simulate. Stop time 0 0.01. Okay. Then what is the output? So this is called our scale input. Okay. And then we will they will get this type of response. And next, change this frequency to 100 to 200. 200 edges. Then apply OK. And then simulate. And then open scope. So like this, uh, this is our scale input. This is our response. Okay, under damper system response. In this way, we have to uh, get the response for under damper system. And similarly, same way, okay, copy this uh, circuit diagram. Place here, copy this circuit diagram. For This is for... Uh, under damp system is over, and then this is for critical damp system, and this is for over damp system. Okay, so in this way we have to. This is for under damp system. Resistance is called three hundred. Here change resistance is called two thousand. Two thousand is called critical damp system, and the resistance is for uh, greater than two thousand or uh, greater than three hundred. Is called greater than 2000 is called over damper system. Let's uh, take 6000 or 4000, whatever. Okay. And take one scoop. Scoop. Scoop here. Yeah. And the change input port. So this is called uh, under damper system, over damper system, under uh, critical damper system, over damper system. Three inputs waveforms. No? So that's why you go to here and uh, Otherwise, copy the scope from already settings are over in the scope. No? That's why. So, it open the scope. And the uh, number of input ports is called. Number of input ports is called 3. Then apply. Then OK. And uh, close. And uh, connect uh, this uh, in this way. For example, first one is called uh, here. Output of uh, output of under damper system, and then second one is called output of uh, critical damper system, and then third one is called output of over damper system. Okay, like this is uh, then the simulate, and then open, and uh, go to uh, layout. Press three uh, like this or vertical. So this is our responses. This is the response for under damper system. This is the response for critical damper system. And our last one is called active display three. Let me change in color to like this and also thickness. Okay. So this is for over damper system. Under damper system. Under damper system, first one is called under damper system. This is for under damper system. This is for critical damper system. This is for over damper system. Under damper, critical damper, over damper. For scale waveform. Okay, like this, we will get the response of the system. Next. And the next uh, uh, signal generator, your signal generator input is clear, na? change uh, start with. Then apply, then OK. Here also change input signal scale to start with, then apply, okay. Here also change the input signal, then start with, start with is like a ramp, okay. And then simulate. So first open first one, what is the input? This is called start with type. Okay, this is the our response we will get like this. For start with type signal, so this is our response. Okay. And then for three waveforms, so for under damper, over damper, critical damper. So we'll get this type of response. Under damper system in this way for start with input. Okay. And uh, uh, critical damper system, this is the waveform. And uh, over damper system, we will get this type of waveforms. Understood? So this is for. Uh,
start with. The next another signals also raised test signals. For example, uh, sign apply sign okay, and then here also sign apply then okay. Here also apply sign then okay, and then simulate. Open first one, for example, under damper system. So this is our under damper system. Input and output. Okay. And then next, uh, open this. Like this, we will get uh, for sign input, we are getting the same as in for under damper system, over damper system, critical damper system. Same or put uh, we are expecting. Okay, so this response is changing for only sort of uh, skier step. So generally, standard test signals is nothing but step input. Next one, skier input. Next one, ramp. Step ramp skier. And also, the sign is also one case. In some cases, we can use. So, this is about standard test signals. Response of electrical network for standard test signals. Next one. And also, open signal generator. We are also one more signal is scale. Sign is scale sort of the random signal is also there. So, apply OK, random signal. And here also change a random signal. And here also change a random signal. Then what is the output for this type of systems? We can understand by using waveform. So open this. Uh, this is for under damped, over damped, critical damped, over damped. Like this, these are the waveforms. Okay, random signals, random so test signals. So under damped system, so this is the waveform. Okay. And uh, critical damper system like this. And then over damper system, we will get like this. this is the response. Okay. For random stress signals.